Welcome to the 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina Take Apart Guide. First you will need to remove the 10 penelope screws from the bottom pan. and then remove the bottom pan. Next you will need to unplug the battery from the logic board. Now unplug all of the cable connections from the logic board using your nylon spudger tool. Use your nylon spudger tool to unplug all of the Wi-Fi antennas from the airport card. Pull back the rubber heatsink cover and then use the flat side of your spudger tool to separate the eyesight cable and Wi-Fi antenna from the fan. Remove the Torx 5 mounting screw holding down the airport card and then take out the airport card. Now remove the Torx 5 mount screw from the SSD card and then remove the card. Use your spudger tool to unplug the fan connector. Remove the three Torx 5 screws holding down the fan. Remove the IO flex cable. And then remove the fan. Now remove the three Torx 5 screws from the left fan. Pull back the rubber heat sink cover and remove the fan. Use your spudger tool to unplug the IO coax cable from the IO board. Now remove all of the Torx 5 screws from the logic board and the end of the heat sinks. Take the EyeSight cable and Wi-Fi antennas out of the cable guide and then use your spudger tool to remove the cable guide. Now lift the logic board out of the casing. You will see that the MagSafe board is still attached to the underside of the board. 
You will need to unplug this from the board and then the logic board will be free. Now remove the two Torx 5 screws from the MagSafe board and then remove the MagSafe board. Remove the two Torx 5 screws from the headphone assembly and then remove the headphone assembly. Remove the two Torx 5 screws from the I.O. board to remove it. Use your spudger tool to gently take out the microphone flex cable from the casing. Remove the three Torx 5 screws from the right speaker assembly and then use your spudger tool to lift the speaker out. And now remove the Torx 5 screws from the left speaker assembly and use your spudger tool to take the speaker out. To remove the display, you will need to have the screen in the open position and hanging off the edge of your table. Remove the two rubber caps covering the hinge screws. Each hinge has three Torx 8 screws that need to be removed. There are also the hinge caps that have a Torx 5 screw holding them down. These must be removed to take the display off. Lastly, the display can be removed. 